Fluoxetine. How does it work and what are the side effects? In today's video I'm going to be looking at the scientific research behind fluoxetine, also known as Prozac, and I'm going to discuss the pharmacology and the toxicology of it, so that by the end of this video you'll know whether or not you should be taking fluoxetine. G'day there, I'm Jesse Crow, the Travelling Scientist, and after spending years studying pharmacology, I'm here to help you live smarter, happier, and healthier lives. Now, I've created a cheat sheet with all the quick, need-to-know information about fluoxetine, and that's totally free for you guys. You can download that at any time. It's just in the description down below. So what is fluoxetine? Fluoxetine, or Prozac, is an antidepressant that's used to treat depression, obviously, but also obsessive compulsive disorder, bulimia nervosa, and panic attacks. It's an SSRI, which I explained in my video, How Do Antidepressants Work? And here's a little clip for you. Your basic antidepressants are called SSRIs, or Selective Serotonin Reuptake Inhibitors. See, when your neurons release serotonin, it acts on the neighboring neurons to pass on that happiness signal. And then the serotonin is recycled back into the previous cell, and it does this by binding to serotonin reuptake receptors. When you take SSRIs, they inhibit these serotonin reuptake receptors, keeping serotonin out in the synapse where it continues to reinforce those happiness signals. That was, that was me two years ago. And that was me another two years ago. Cool, huh? In general, fluoxetine is supposed to make you feel calm, confident, positive and productive, treating many psychological symptoms. And it's usually taken once daily in a dosage of 20 to 40 milligrams. Some people take just 10 milligrams a day, while other people might need 60 or 80 milligrams. And it really depends on the individual. So it's definitely something you want to discuss with your doctor before taking this drug. But what about the side effects of fluoxetine? A study in 2009 looked at 700 patients taking an SSRI like fluoxetine or something similar. And they concluded that of those 700 patients, 38% experienced some side effects. 38%. One of the main issues with Prozac is sleep, because Prozac is considered one of the more stimulating SSRIs, and as a result, it can interrupt your sleeping pattern, which can be super frustrating, but not as frustrating as sexual dysfunction. Loss of libido, lack of vaginal lubrication, and erectile dysfunction are common problems amongst patients taking fluoxetine. And it's believed this is because although serotonin makes us happy, it can also dampen our sexual desire, so we just don't want to do the sex. Oh man! Finally, antidepressant discontinuation syndrome is a fancy way of saying that Prozac is addictive. And doctors will tell you that it's not, but if you try taking Prozac for a while and then you decide to stop, you'll feel headachy and nauseous and irritated and fatigued and depressed. This is your body trying to get back to normal without the drug. And it's going to be really challenging. But if you feel like you've become addicted to fluoxetine and you want to get off this antidepressant, talk to your doctor about it and try and work out a plan of reducing your dosage over several weeks and months until you no longer need it. In conclusion, fluoxetine or Prozac is a popularly prescribed antidepressant, which works by increasing your serotonin levels to make you feel more positive. Unfortunately, it can also make sleep and sex really challenging, which is going to make you less happy. And also, fluoxetine can be addictive, so if you don't want to be stuck taking antidepressants for the rest of your life, try not to take fluoxetine unless you absolutely have to, and try and wean yourself off it when you think you no longer need it. Anyway, that's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, click the like button down below, and let me know if you're on fluoxetine and your experiences in the comment section down below. Finally, next week's video is going to be all about Valium or Diazepam, so make sure you're prescribed prescribed? Subscribe for more traveling science every single week. I'll see you guys next Science Sunday. Cheers.